Did you hear about the woohoo scandal that happened at school? No, what happened? What happened? Tell me about the woohoo scandal. Rose and Andy. Oh, they have a little baby. She's blowing it, guys. There we go. Candles all blown out. Young adulthood is here for saffron. Hey, my little pitcheroonies, and welcome back to another... E oh, my gosh. Put my hair all over my face. Another episode of our Not So Berry Challenge. Kiyoshi has just got a call from Nanami asking them to go out together. Why don't you guys go buy pajamas, I guess? We're in a bit of a sad household today. Kiyoshi especially. Sad about losing his dad, but also we lost a little baby Papa Roo. We lost Dilbert, who was obviously an absolute icon. On. Everybody's feeling really, really sad. Scarlet less so. Okay, Scarlet has to be said less so. She's panicky because she's withdrawn from work. She loved Dilbert, but she's like, why are you still sad about it? She's just a little bit, she's built a little bit differently. But Saffron also feeling very sad and at school right now. And actually, when I check out her age, she's on one day till she ages up. So tomorrow it'll be a birthday. I feel like there's a bit of a running theme in my household. Um, who are you? NAP inspector. Okay. There's a bit of a running theme with my household with birthdays and everybody being a bit sad. We did try and cheer up our sims though by getting the oh, okay running away from me right now but the yellow edition pet every generation so far has had a pet and this is the yellow pet it is a persian kitten and it's called laika or laika laika or laika i'm actually not 100 sure but it is saffron's new little kitty cat now i actually checked this cat out in cast because i was looking at it as a kitten being like you don't look anything like a persian and you're meant to be a persian cat age it up into an adult and it looked nothing like a persian cat so i have tweaked its appearance a little bit, but I've still made it a little bit different from the regular Persian cat because it did look a little bit different. I also gave him yellow eyes. I've seen him. I, I never, never get, get my pets joined as right. Female her. I did, however, give her yellow eyes as well. Did you just eat? I've just finished. I'm stuffed. Okay, so this is Scarlett's new friend, Jennifer. They have really, really um similar vibes. They're both loners, they're both everyman, they're both big old nerds at school as well, which I love for them. Uh, why are you here when it says you're at school? Like what? Do I have to bring you home from school and then send you again? Jasper sent uh, her some money. Maybe it's birthday money. Eight dollars. Well, wow. thanks, Jasper. Jasper. So well, we're trying to raise that one for you. She's bugged. It's still giving her all of her skills though. Okay. You know what? You know what? We could actually use this to our advantage and get her to start working on two skills at once. Because she's working on her school skills. I know we're not a clean energy house, okay? We can get her working on two skills at once. Handiness, which she needs for her, um, this part of the challenge and also everything she's going to learn in school. We just be hacking at the system here. I'm going to get Scarlet. I have to clear this every time. She's panicky about work withdrawals, but I can't actually make her work while she's panicky about work withdrawals. Which is just a massive oxymoron, but I'm going to get her to keep writing her books. This is her new job. However, she still gets stressed even though I've assigned that as her job. Gabe, come on. If you're going to assign somebody the lifestyle of being a workaholic, if you've given them a job, then they shouldn't get it anymore. It seems like a little bit of an oversight in the game. Gunther Munch, have you been texting my babe? Gunther, who even is your babe? You know what? Yeah, Gunther, I have. What about it? What about it, Gunther? How dare you? Oh, Maria. <gasps> no freaking way. Maria. Maria, you gotta see her. Do you remember from Minzy's generation? Maria's still alive. Maria must have been a lot younger than them. But Maria worked with Minzy. That is Gen 1 throwback. Things we love to see. Okay, the other thing that you guys suggested, and this is such a good idea, and I can't believe I forgot to do it this round, is I need to buy a yellow plant. Minzy grew a rose to give to the rose generation. So I feel like Rose needs to grow some kind of yellow plant to give to the yellow generation. So I'm gonna buy um, some flowers, see what we get from these. Let's go ahead and open them. And what flowers have we actually got? Okay, loads of holly. Well, that ain't much use to me because holly's all red. Okay, perfect, a chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum is a yellow plant. It grows in f summer and fall. This is perfect because it's literally fall right now. So in our absolutely gorgeous garden, I feel like we will give Scala a little bit of a side project, which is to grow herself a little plant. I might also plant one of her roses at the side of it too. Maybe she could grow all the generations in her cute little Japanese garden. That would be adorable. And also, I'm sick of these being on the outside of the house. I actually meant to do this last episode. I don't know why they were here when we moved in, but it worked out pretty good for the wedding. However, now it's just low-key annoying. So, Kiyoshi, a little job for you, my friend. Please, can you 
take down the decorations. And okay, this girl is texting as a bunch. I just did a workout. Are you in shape too? Jenny, right? I'm recording this ahead of releasing my last video because I recorded the morning and my videos got in the afternoon. So I actually don't know what your guys' feedback is on Jenny yet, but I will be keeping a little sneaky peeky eye out for it. One thing you guys did suggest though, which I actually really like the idea of is you suggested that maybe uh, Saffron, she's still on an A, even though she literally didn't go to school. I don't know how we've managed that one. And Kyoshi's got hidden lifestyle in progress. Single and loving it. Really? I mean, he's married. Game. Oh, okay. So it's this one. That was actually Saffron's lifestyle. He's got technophobe in progress. A lifestyle dedicates the avoidance of technology. You know what? He really doesn't go on technology a lot. So that makes a lot of sense. Okay, that's pretty cool. But this is interesting. Saffron is unlocking the single and loving it. Increased skill gain in all skills while single. Less likely to acquire romantic sentiments. Finds romantic media somewhat unrealistic. And tense when in a new committed romantic relationship. Avoid being in committed romantic relationships and romantic media. She doesn't really want romance in her life. Okay, that is something she's kind of started to develop on her own. It's obviously, it's not locked in place yet, I don't think. It's in progress, but if we continue, maybe she is an aromantic sim. Although she was practicing romance in front of a mirror, so I really don't know with her. But it could be a lifestyle that she ends up unlocking and going into. But yeah, um, I was thinking for Saffron, you guys suggested moving her to Oasis Springs. It's actually where the level 10 secret lot that you can access is. It's located in Oasis Springs. Oasis Springs is also a super yellow, like it's in a desert, so yellow lot, yellow sim, yellow generation, kind of matches everything, doesn't it? That could actually work really well. Okay, so she has woken up from her little nippy nap. You did get this, oh my gosh, Scarlet got this exact same one from school. It's like the constructor bridge one, but you know what? I actually think I'm gonna sell that because I feel as though there's a project for <gasps> solar system. Okay, recommended for children, boo. Recommended for teens. Chemical reaction. <gasps> okay, air pressure rocketry. You actually did that one as a child. It does increase rocket science, which you're gonna need. So I'm gonna give her that project. I'm gonna get her this solar system one as well to do maybe afterwards. So there we go. Just to help out with those little skills, continue as we were going on. The butler has called uh, Kiyoshi to be like, I'm so sorry to hear about your dad. Kiyoshi, bless him. Not looking in great shape right now. He's super sad. His social is low. He's tired and he's very, very tense also. Still feeling very, very down. Poor baby. Also saffron. Has she got a Louis Vuitton mask on? Charcoal. She's got charcoal face mask on. She's also feeling super down still. <gasps> oh, and I never got the kit and a cat litter tray. In fact, we still only got dog stuff. Okay, so we need a cat litter tray and then we also need a scritchy scratchy post as well. I'm gonna go for this one because it kind of blends in and I'm also gonna put it outside. Outside, out of mind. And look, little Laker like you. Lake, like Laker is doing their first actual pee in a litter tray. Honestly, I find cats compared to dogs a lot easier to toilet train. Oh, some poops as well. Nice. Oh, laser beams. Laser beams in action, please. But yeah, cats are easy. Dogs sometimes take a while. Our dogs took a really long time to litter tray. Train. Litter tray train. Lasers. Come on. There we go. Pew, pew, pew. I love stuff like this. Like, I feel like that's like old school Sims vibes. Ooh, and we've got a little planties out here already to grow. We need this one. Like, I don't know when Saffron's gonna move out. I don't feel like she's that bothered about staying in Japan personally, but I need this to grow so I can give her one before she leaves. Ooh, and we've got another book. Oh, well, no, no, no. Where's the one ready to publish? Can I publish another book? Oh, yes. Let's get this one sold to a publisher. Boom. Ooh, and look at this. Kiyoshi. If I could go back, is boosting his sod. Kiyoshi is regretting some of the decisions they made throughout the years. I wonder if he regrets living in the White House for so long instead of living like out here. Especially if he hates technology. He kind of likes, likes the outdoors. He never got to become a pro snowboarder. If you're in a couple and one of you is going for presidency, like that person's life becomes a priority. And you can say it's not fair and it's, it's sad, but the reality is it's just the way that things go because it's such a demanding and intense job. So I don't think they could have changed the way that things went. They're doing a project at 3M for some reason, um, whatever. But that doesn't mean he can't regret the way that things went, which is kind of sad. But sometimes when someone's got a really intense job, the other partner, like if they choose to do so, it makes more sense for them to support them. So wow, a harsh saffron. Man, you really look your age. Are you kidding me? I think he or she looks really good for his age. That's such a harsh thing to to say. Look at that skin. Honestly, Saffron, you don't know because you're not old yet, but that is very good skin for an old person. Oh, I think he's a bit hurt that she said he looks old. Teenagers can say some horrible stuff, I swear. I 
know I did as a teenager, but look, they've both gotten a playful mood from like hanging out and doing this together. They've actually really enjoyed it. So that's cute. Kind of makes up for the fact that you're up all night with a project <gasps> and you finished it. Wait until it's morning and then you guys can go outside and launch it. And then when you come home this evening, it's actually going to be your birthday and you're going to age up into a full blown adult, full blown adult. And geez, it is a muggy, muggy day today. But this is actually going to be what, um, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh, what, does it do a little... Oh, that's so cute! This is gonna be you one day, Saffron. This is gonna be you launching into the stars. One day very soon. Well, actually, you've got to build up the astronaut career quite a lot. But your final day of high school. Have fun, my child! Oh, you did do your homework. Oh, well, have fun! <gasps> did you hear about the woohoo scandal that happened at school? This was the girl that we met in the, that clubby bar place one time. No, what happened? What happened? I want to know what happened. Tell me about the woohoo scandal. We don't know what happened, but okay. See, this is why she's like, I'm not interested in relationships, because it's just drama. I don't want to be in a woo-woo scandal. And Scarlett's working on her next book, Politics, Power, and Possibilities. How to win power and influence people. She was definitely very good at that. And this is nice. I think it's a nice way for Scarlett to like occupy the final, final years of her life. Writing about her very, very successful political career. She seems to enjoy it. It gives us something to do because obviously, ooh, Saffron has, has an extremely important test coming up. The school's been so busy. Should she drink a ton of cola and cram right up into the test or should she find out light activity and give her brain a rest. You're brainy. Don't have loads of cola. Do some light activity instead. <gasps> yes, that was the right decision. She takes a test feeling refreshed and can easily recall of the quite required information. Yes, Saffron. And oh my gosh, tell me about this woo-woo scandal. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, look at that. She was literally getting texts about this woo-woo scandal. And then I get a call saying she was caught looking at her phone. Well, she wasn't looking up answers. She was hearing about this woo-woo scandal. I don't want to affect her emotional control or her responsibility. Oh, jeez. Just make her retake the test. I don't, oh. She has fallen out of the range to get the responsible trait, which is really annoying because that's been so good her whole life. What can I do to boost her responsibility this evening? I'll get her to brush her teeth a bunch before her... Um... Look, she's getting responsibility now. Listen to teacher, okay? <gasps> and Scarlett is feeling a bit lonely. I was going to say that Kyoshi obviously works out all day and Scarlett's got something to do while she's at home. He's still enjoying his PT and makes him happy. <gasps> oh, and look, she's back to earn the responsible trait. Brilliant. See, so yeah, I might invite around Rose to come and hang out. Wait, I can't invite her. Is she already nearby? <gasps> she totally is. Oh my gosh, she's here already. Oh my gosh, come upstairs, Rose. Break off from her book to come see you. Let's get her some little foodies and we'll hang out with her. <gasps> oh my gosh, she looks so tired. She looks tired, but she's she must have a newborn now, right? Did you guys have a baby? Here is me and Kiyoshi. Uh, there is Rose. <gasps> Rose and Andy. <gasps> they have a little baby. Adrian West, she's already a toddler. Oh my gosh. Can I invite over the child? I don't think I can because I don't know them. I wonder if I can cheat them to be here. Because I feel like she would have come with her kid, you know, since she was already in the area. Okay, so I've teleported her over so that we can see this little bubble over as well. Maybe she can have some of the hot pot with us. Okay, so she's like hanging out. Let's go ahead and check her out. She looks so cute, but she's obviously quite CC-less right now. She's got the exact same hair as one of Jasper's toddlers did. So I'm probably going to switch out her hair. Also, both of her parents, have like darker hair so I might tweak that as well because this is Andy's hair I kind of like the idea that maybe our um little curls came over so you've got brown eyes very cute okay so there we go I've tried to give her the brown eyes that have a little bit of a red tint I also gave her hair that I thought was somewhere in between ready brownie so it's a little bit of each and also has like a bit of a wave to it like Rose's hair is straight and um, Andy's hair is curly so I thought I'd go somewhere in between and then it's pretty cold where we are in Mount Kamarebi so I've given her this little cute rig out here. So I'm so glad that Rose was in the neighborhood. I think it's so nice that they've got to catch her. And I also, oh, your eyes. Where did your eyes go? I literally just put your eyes on. And I think we've already gained a sentiment towards her. <gasps> we have, they've already bonded. Purple, what? Uh, closer from happy memories. I'm gonna just try and change your eyes one last time. Why does this keep happening to me? It's my new bug. And okay, how are you looking now, kiddo? Oh, if your eyes and eyelashes have gone again, I'm just gonna accept that you don't want them. Okay, she doesn't want the eyes, but she'll take the lashes. I don't know why I'm getting this book. It's really annoying. Oh, you're feeling stressed that you're not doing your work? Really? You're with your little family here. Man, she's always put work first, hasn't she? I'm gonna try and like play, play with her and take her mind off things. Thank you so much for popping around today, Rose. This has been so nice. Is she her aunt? Yeah, this is your niece and you already got the closer from happy memory sentiment. Cute.
I'm not really 100% sure what's gonna happen to little Adrian once Rose dies. Rose has... Ooh, she's still an adult, but she's gone a day over because, because of Adrienne. It kind of messed up her aging a little bit. That's why she looks a little bit younger than uh, Scarlet does right now, even though I kind of low-key think she was definitely born first, which is why she's called Rose. But maybe Scarlet as well aged a little bit more because of, you know, presidents. Have you seen a pictures of presidents like before and after they've done their terms? They look so much older. Rose's eyes do look old. She just keeps her hair dyed, which obviously Scarlet doesn't do, which also obviously makes her look a lot older. Kyoshi home as well. I'm gonna get Kyoshi to meet his niece too. Oh no, don't ask her to leave. Kyoshi to come and meet his niece as well. And this is just all very cute. Love that. Love that so much. And his mom's constantly still calling him. Why don't you guys go hiking together? And okay, Saffron is on an A. Did you look at that meme I sent you? Oh my gosh. Her friends actually text her a bunch, which is really nice. Her manners and responsibility and emotional control are all maxed, which is absolutely perfect. I am going to go ahead and invite round Melissa and we'll also invite round Jennifer. And let's go bake a cake because you're going to age up today, whether I like it or not. So, oh, Rose, no, I thought Rose and Adrian might stick around but adrian's just uh adrian's just split big sads i guess toddlers they get tired really easily don't they okay so here are her little friendos i never cc'd up Alyssa, but i did cc up jennifer and they've all got like their little school uniforms on <gasps> we're meeting kitty cat they're meeting little laker these guys will get the name well i think in particular jennifer will get the name because uh <gasps> louver's on face mask on your birthday no let's take that off because both of them they're into like space and stuff i also have just realized i'm gonna invite over emily for this i'm gonna say that she traveled over for her birthday <gasps> she's older of course she's already a young adult she's got the child of the ocean trait and the neat trait there is still one unknown trait though so maybe we should uh check out what that is so here is emily she's oh bless her little skinny and cute head she's a lot she's a young adult so she's a, she looks older than them especially because they're like all in their like school uniforms and stuff but i'm gonna have these guys catch up they are about to be the same age as each other so obviously that's that's cool. I feel like we should get some pictures. Let's get a photo of Saffron so we can remember her this age. And then Saffron should get some pictures with her friends. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at her. That's like such a good little pose for her too. About to become... Oh, she did this pose as a kid, didn't she? About to become a uh, young adult. Oh, I'm gonna miss her cute little school uniform, but there we go. Take some pictures of that too. Nice! And then one with me and Emily as well. One here. Sorry about your clay hair. And then for some reason you're wearing a towel now. Okay. Bit of uh, interesting development, but whatever. Picture of us guys too. <gasps> And I've got a great reputation. That's awesome. Okay. Ooh, game running real slow. Let's all head into here together. And then, ooh, also, you come in here too. You're still stressed about this no job thing. Jeez. You come in here too. And let's, uh, come on guys, get downstairs. Let's go ahead and blow out the candles. And go from a teenager in, oh wow, look at the bin. A teenager in to a young adult. She's blowing it, guys. I told them all to be here, but half of them left. Okay, Emily's coming back in. There we go. Candles all blown out. Mum's doing a little confetti. Emily's singing for us. And we are looking literally zero difference. That's how similar uh, teens are to young adults. But young adulthood is here for Saffron. A lifelong responsibilities, careers in space, and vast horizons await. Well, literally for her, vast horizons really do await. Whoever said their 20s aren't a blast. So she's got the loner trait. She's got the clumsy trait. She needs her third and final trait, which is going to be ambitious, which will be absolutely perfect for her. So we're going to have to master this astronaut career and also we need to work on this nerd brain aspiration as well. This is when she enters the stage of her life where she won't be growing up quite like, I make my toddler, baby and child lives a little bit like quicker, but I focus a little bit more on these ones. So I'm wondering if we should move her out to Oasis Springs. I don't know. Either way, let's go ahead and give her this ambitious trait. So she is all fully yellow now. And I feel like we should go ahead and give her a little bit of a tweaked appearance now that she is a little bit older. So we're going to be losing that outfit all together. These ones, honestly, I feel like you would still wear these in your um, 20s. I don't feel like these are like teen only outfits. Like I'd wear these. I'm in my 30s. So, but I may just give her like one additional outfit that can be her 
slightly more grown-up vibes. Okay, it actually ended up looking younger than her other outfit. I wanted to give her an outfit that I feel like she could, like, steel cut boots. She's working on, like, um, like rockets and stuff. She Shorts, I thought, would be pretty practical. And I don't know. She gives me, like, the vibes that she does work at, like, some kind of science facility. She just has those vibes about her. I don't know if I'm totally off, got off like, the mark here. But boots that, if she drops heavy equipment, aren't gonna hurt. Shorts for functionality. And this top, it kind of looked a little bit Japanese-y, which I liked. Okay. Hair also. This will be the same for all outfits, so. I've also rolled back her makeup a little bit because I feel like she tried out makeup for school, but I don't generally think she was that bothered about it, so I have rolled that back a little bit. There we go. And I put these clips in because I feel like she's clipping her hair out of her face because um, she's taking her rocket science in very seriously. Okay, so now that we've got her a little bit older, I need to go ahead and get her her first astronaut job. And here is how she looks in the world, by the way. Very, very cute. I like that outfit. It's probably not something I would like wear personally, but I think it looks good on her. I'm trying out like different vibes, different styles for each generation. So let's go to find a job. And here we go. Astronaut. <laughs> Who does? Doesn't dream of going into space. Become an astronaut and the galaxy will be your playground. So there's the Space Ranger branch and the Interstellar Smuggler. I'm kind of feeling like she's gonna go for this branch, but let's see. Right now it's an intern. So we're gonna go ahead and get our inter internship at Space Y, which is obviously a play on SpaceX, which is Elon Musk's company. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this picture of Saffron in the room here. Cause I feel like, you know, even if she's older now, she's always gonna be that little girl. So I I feel like they would want like a nice little picture of her up there. Super cute. And um, let's see what she has to do as part of her job. Okay. Play chess. Ah. Oh my gosh. Minzy should have taught you chess. Oh, that would have been so perfect. Literally so perfect. Okay, so maybe I'd switch this outdoor vibes to actually put like an outdoor chess table instead. Cause Scarlett used to play chess with Minzy as well, right? So that's kind of cute. I feel like she looks older. Like she looks a little bit more grown up, a little bit older, a little bit wiser, ready for the next part of her life. As a teenager, she genuinely looked quite teenage. Whereas now, she definitely looks like a young woman, which is really cool. Okay, so now I have to decide. Do I say that her parents have given her like, we might be able to give her 20K to move out on her own somewhere like Oasis Springs so she can work on trying to get into that secret area and also start to build herself up. She's only earning, I say only. Ooh, <gasps> that gave her part of a nerd brain. No freaking way. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Does she need to work up another skill? I'm not sure, but she needs to launch or upgrade a rocket five times and own a rocket ship. Okay, I feel like to me that definitely, definitely means I wanted to give her a flower before we go, but we could always go around and visit and give her the flower. Sorry, let me get back to it. To me, this means that I need to move her into her own space because she's got to try and build a rocket ship. And there is just absolutely no space to do that here at all. We'll still go back and visit them all the time, but I think we're going to have to move her to an empty lot in Oasis Springs where she can start working on her rocket ship. I'm actually so hyped for her. So what I actually really wanted to do is originally move out Emily with her and the two of those guys would kind of become roomies. But I feel like Emily needs to live in Solani. She's got the heart of the ocean trait. So she needs to live in Solani. Maybe our like family lines will meet up for like roomies again further down the line if we do decide to move to Solani in a later part of this challenge. But I really feel like for now, Saffron, who I'm going to create into a new household, and we're going to give her 20 thousand pounds. I feel like the roomie that actually makes the most sense for her is her fellow nerd brained. Where is she at? Her school friend. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, she comes from a huge family. The Teheura family. They've literally got a little baby as well. Oh, here we go. There's Jennifer. And look, it's like your household exceeds the maximum number of sims. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Oh my gosh, they're so rich. What? How did this family have half a million? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to just like invite her around and add her to family instead because they've actually got too many sims in their household so we'll exit out of that but let's go ahead and move saffron in to the yellow yellowest neighborhood i wanted to move her to like an empty lot but they're all full also there is folks living in them all Bedrock straight. Skyward Palms. That area is rich. Rocky out overlook with sweet sound of solitude. Oh my gosh, she would definitely want to live there. I wonder whether to kick out one of these farms. Sorry, I don't know Oasis Springs very well because I never live here. 
So I want to check out the view from all the neighborhoods and see which one screams saffron. Oh, this is where I did my bit life challenge. Okay, I don't like this backdrop. It doesn't feel very saffron. I'm very selective. Okay, I'm sorry because I know I'm literally destroying this whole lot, but this is the most solitude place. So, okay, let me save before I do this. I don't like huge lots. I actually prefer like a medium sized lot because big lots are a little bit daunting, but we're obviously gonna have our rocket ship like separate from our house. So I think it's gonna be okay, but I'm gonna demolish everything. I like the view from here. She looks out onto this, which I think is good for a sim that prefers solitude. She's not in the town with everybody else. It's kind of quite private here. I think she'd like that a lot. It seems like a bit of a crazy place to move out to, but from what I remember, like basically places where they work on rockets and stuff, they feel like they're in places like this because it's loud. They have to do testing. They have to fire rockets. They can't be near like cities and people's houses. So I feel like this, if you want to become an astronaut, probably best to move out to a place like this. She's paid £10,000 for the land. We're going to go ahead and move her button. Okay. I'm going to leave this to you guys in the comments. Should she live by herself or should I give her a roommate? She has the loner trait, so she does prefer solitude. But at the same time, she's moving out to a whole new place on her own. I know Minzy did it. Scarlet did it too, actually. Should I give her a roommate? or should I not? Let me know in the comments below. And oh my gosh, it is kind of scary when you see it like this. I'm gonna not cheat. Oh my gosh, it's such a misty morning as well. We thought it was gonna be so like bright and beautiful. I'm gonna just start with the 10,000 pounds that we've got building. I need to get her rocket as well. How much is a rocket? She had the rocket from when she was a child. So technically she owns a rocket. But like I said, I want her, okay. Unlocked by reaching level 10 of the astronaut career. Oh man, maybe we are gonna have to have a lame rocket for now. I'm gonna at least start building her little house then. And I kind of like the idea that, you know, she built a rocket as a kid, but now, now we want to try again. And I'm going to have a rocket like vibes quite far away from our house, just in case there's any explosions. I'm trying to think how I can do like a space inspired house. I'm not really coming up with much. I'm going to try and give her like the most modern house of all the houses that we've seen. Cause she's like rocket science. She's into that vibe. And I also kind of want it to look a bit like a spaceship. I don't really know how I do that. Okay, the eco stuff's actually good because it all has this like modern vibes. So that's pretty good. I'm just gonna have to get her absolute bare necessities for now. Okay, I feel like we're maybe gonna have to have a roommate. <laughs> Because we're down to $250. She's got a toilet. She's got a bed. And she's got a rocket. The essentials that we've got, I will like link these up with a little dirt path. But other than that, we, it's kind of basic. It's kind of very basic. But I like starting at the beginning. I think it's like more fun doing things this way. And I think, you know, I think I'm going to save up for the... Apollo. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry. I just don't. I just don't like the steampunk. I, I like it, but I don't feel safe sending her up in that. So, and I love the stage of Sims lives when they're like, everything's a bit tougher and their house isn't all upgraded and stuff. I think this is like the most fun you can, like fun way to play things. It's more fun having like the challenge of building up. I find anyway. Okay. I've added a few like debug trees and whatnot to try and make it look a little bit more, a little bit more going on. Give it a little bit more personality, but this is the little house. I tried to make it look modern. I also kind of tr low key tried to make it look like she built it out of like scrap. I don't know if it has that vibe. Let me know if you think it does. And yeah, I feel like we have to add a roommate, but I also can't afford to add a roommate yet because like, <laughs> where do they go? I do not know, but I'm gonna send her to bed in her new weird and wonderful house. And like I said, the reason I've put it here is because other than the neighbors who, by the way, are really rich, it kind of feels like we're in the middle of nowhere, which I think for a loner sim is kind of the perfect place to live. And she's feeling confident about her first ever day at her job. Obviously, we're gonna have to try and save up for that rocket ship too, which I think is gonna be the next big thing that I save for because I do feel like it's pretty important that we get that. So let me know what you guys think about these slightly older saffron in the comments below. Let me know if you're enjoying this series. I I love starting from scratch like this with like no money. I think it's so much more fun. So I'm really, really excited for this bit of uh, the next step of Saffron's journey. If you guys are as well, give this video a big a cheeky thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.